Oh, when did God. you start your, your comedy career, Cindy? I was in my early 40s. Wow. Yeah. And what were you doing before that? Were you working? Or? Thank you. Uh, well, I wasn't working, working. I was taking, I was, I was a stay-at-home mom for a decade. Before that, I had a job. I was an investment banker. And um, I had one kid. I quit banking because I missed my child. And then after a while, I was like, well, what's my skill set? Not having kids. So I had a couple more. <laughs> <laughs> I did. But you were successful as a banker, weren't you? You had a proper kind of big career. Yeah. I mean, I wasn't fired. No. <laughs> so, yeah, no Which point are you an investment banker, not you weren't working at TSB giving no, out No, 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 I was selling bonds. Wow. And I covered hedge funds and central banks, and I covered US, uh, I sold them US dollar products, bonds mainly. And were, um, and were people surprised, the people you'd worked with before, that you had this career as a comedian? Now, were you like the funny person in the office? You know, I was the junior person in the office, so no one cared if I told a joke. Right. I don't know if you've been on a trading floor. They don't want you to be funny. They want you to make money. Yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> not funny? Please, money. Yeah. Anyway, um, <laughs> and the trading floor was fun. There were so many things I didn't understand, so I had no time to be funny. Like, the FX traders, when I would go and ask them for a price, FX is money stuff, they would say, Oi, John, the bird from Delhi wants a price. <laughs> and I should think, oh, bird from Delhi. And then I thought, maybe they, I'm so elegant like a peacock. <laughs> it took me a very long time to figure out that it was not about peacocks. Um, and also, one time, they had a, a, the, the whole desk was going on a ski trip, and everyone got sweatshirts with little names, and mine was Ruby. And I was like, oh, because in India, rubies are more valuable than diamonds. I thought, this is how important I am to the team. <laughs> no, Ruby Murray. Curry. Wow. Yeah, it was great though because curry, I was like, oh yeah, yeah, okay, I get it. Oh, is that a joke? So they made jokes I didn't understand. They weren't the funniest people in the world. <laughs> no, no. I mean, I can see why they haven't gone on to careers <laughs> yeah, in comedy. Well, there you go. But you no, know, it didn't bother me. I didn't tell many jokes. Um, I, uh, yeah, no, I, I mean, I guess I was weird in yeah. my own way. There was casual Fridays. You know, so the big thing in banking is on a Friday, you can wear what you want. Like a dress down thing, isn't it? Massive yeah. dress down. So being from India, when I dressed down, I wore slippers, and then I walked on the trading floor with no shoes, because that's pretty casual in India. And the COO would always come in and say, that's a, what, health and safety. And I was like, what kind of trading floor are you running? <laughs> like, is there glass on the floor? In which case, what are you doing? <laughs> so that was, a, and I wore a shawl, and I was barefoot. I sat, you know, uh, cross-legged like a yogi on my chair. So yeah, so I don't know if I was funny, I was weird. Yeah. And yeah, no, it was a good time. I really enjoyed my job. But when you, you were nearly, you were scouted as a model when you were younger, weren't you? Oh man, I was much younger. I was in India, yeah, I was 18. And they asked me to go to Paris. And my father was like, this is wrong. You cannot be a model, you have to be a doctor. And so this was your parents' decision not to, or you decided? My you father was like, you are not going to Paris. All models are drug addicts. <laughs> <laughs> and he said, and you cannot be a doctor. No, 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 none of this stuff. Do you regret that? Do you ever think, I wish I'd done that instead of... No, because I know myself, I would have been on drugs. <laughs> <laughs>